All right, following the same process for setting targets as a weapon, we're doing the same for the weakness. So you can see here the weakness that we wanted to work with is ability to explode when in possession and recognizing available spaces at number eight. Okay, and we copied over onto the agreed targets qualitative, the three areas that we want to work on. Um, and these were agreed upon at our one-on-one -on -one meeting. So in six weeks, the player is going to get a grade to see if they're improving in the player recognition of available spaces or area to exploit, increasing mental speed and go, explosive first step to drive forward. So those are the three actions we agreed upon. And then in six weeks, they're going to take a grade. And then in 12 weeks, they're going to take a grade. So that's what we're going to improve on. These were agreed upon at our meeting. And you can see the same grading, the same grading format from the weapon area where the needs improvement in red, improving in yellow, and excellent in green. Then we have on the bottom side the agreed targets for the individual, and these are game-based actions. So in each game, we want the player to have three speed dribbles per game. And that's where they take that explosive first step, they recognize the space, and they're using that mental speed to go. And then the second side is we want some sort of end product from this. So we want either a pass, so a final pass, a cross, or a shot to come at the end of this. At least two per game. Because if you're able to explode forward, that probably means you're going to be able to create an end product. Now, we also allow them to have an assist of an assist, so the pre-assist. So maybe they play the ball wide to the winger who is able to cross and we get the shot off, right? We would allow that to be an end product because they're creating that final option for the player to get the ball into the box or to create that final second pass. Okay, so I hope that gives you an idea. Again, if you cannot do the agreed targets individual because it's too hard to track the data, that's okay. The most important, especially with younger players, is the, the recognition of the top right targets, whatever you identify them as. So build in those targets um, and then check and see if your player is improving in those categories that you're discussing because that's where it's going to make the biggest difference moving forward. Okay, and that's it for this. I'll see you in the next video.